Next, we've reported many times on the challenges facing Ireland schools who are trying to recruit teachers in time for a new school year. But now a French national who left her job as a teacher in Guernsey after just three months says she would never work in the island again. Margot Robert accepted a job at Les Beaucamp High School in May last year. But she claims that a string of unexpected obstacles concerning the state's HR department prompted her resignation. Teaching unions say that demonstrates the problems which the island faces retaining teachers. Charlie Lanuri has the story. Margot planned to make a life in Guernsey when she took up a teaching role last year. She loved the school and teaching the pupils, but after encountering what she called HR issues, she left after just one term. They do not have enough workforce, to so much so that they need to get the workforce from outside, and they do not treat people well. You know, so I'm, I'm not surprised if people keep on leaving, and I hope that by doing this, people who are still in position and have gone through the same process uh, know that they can actually get in touch. You know, they can also fill in uh, intent of complaint form and actually go to the tribunal if they want to and actually, you know, get their word across. Me, as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to hear from the states of Guernsey ever in my life. Margot says that the issues she faced meant she then struggled to trust the states as an employer. It's expected there'll be three teacher vacancies when schools go back in September, but unions say finding and keeping staff has been an issue for years. I think it's as bad as I've ever known it. Um, we're constantly told that uh, things are in place to really drive recruitment forward, but we don't seem to be making much progress. And even when teachers agree to come to the island, they don't always stay. Over the past couple of years, we've had uh, colleagues who've arrived, sometimes just agency teachers who've come and gone very, very quickly, but other times it's people who were believing they were coming over for a longer period of time, and they, after one term they've, they've left the island because it's not what they were expecting. And that's a real problem, that's something we've got to deal with. We asked to speak to somebody from the states of Guernsey, but they said that nobody was available. They did send us this statement in which they reiterated that the few vacancies they have going into this next academic year is testament to the work that they've done in recruitment in a difficult time for the industry. They also recognised how a lack of consistent teachers in some subject areas will have impacted students, but they said that they did what they could in a difficult time. It's expecting to bring about 14 agency staff in September in temporary roles, and although the state is optimistic about the future of education, the unions are looking for more permanent solutions. Charlie Lanuri, BBC Channel Islands News, Guernsey.